right, I promised you guys that I would do a little talk about strobes. And in this case, it'll be about portable strobes. And I've got two types of strobes. I've got two of them here that you have to replace the batteries. And these three over here, you can recharge. So I'm gonna talk about these uh, five units here and a couple more here in a minute. But uh, one thing about these uh, strobes are that they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, I think this one was around $25. This is like 26, 27. I don't remember exactly. Um, this is a, uh, a Firefly Pro, which supposedly you can see for three miles. Uh, I don't know about that, but it's more of a strobe that if you get uh, lost out in the woods somewhere, but uh, when I first started, someone mentioned to me that I ought to get this one and just uh, stick it onto my unit. And if I ever needed it, I'd have a strobe that, that was fairly inexpensive. This one here I've never used. Uh, it's about $28. I don't have the name of it. If anybody is interested in these, uh, you know, you can leave a comment, question, so forth. And this is just going to be kind of a quick talk about them. But uh, this unit here, uh, came out of a uh, aircraft supply store that sold aircraft supplies, radios, and so forth. And uh, I had ordered one of them similar to this, and they ran out, and the lady came back and said, this is a truly much better unit. It's high density and uh, LED, and it's just super. So... I've got it, and I basically bought this one just so I could do uh, this talk on these units and uh, have another one to talk about. Now, three of them that are near and dear to my heart that I like. Uh, this one here is a hunter strobe, chip hunter strobe. Uh, there's been two versions that I know of uh, that have come out on it. Uh, one had a uh, a slow flash ever so often that was the first unit that I know of and then the second uh, version uh, was this one and it has like two flashes on it and uh, my first one broke the light came out on it uh, the light broke and uh, so then I uh, sent it in to get it repaired and they actually replaced it so The next unit is a Guardian Angel. You've probably heard me talk a lot about it. And there's several mounts, and I use this as a mount. The Chip Hunter mounts uh, on your bars. And I'll go over each one of them and light them up here in a minute. Uh, the Guardian Angel uh, is one that I've recently acquired and uh, been using quite a bit. You can charge it up and uh, it's, it's pretty bright and it's a, it has a lot of uses for it. Uh, this unit here is a very small unit. It's got uh, four uh, LEDs on it and it's a bright little uh, light for as little as it is. And they have a new one out that has uh, double the size or double the lights on it. Um, I'd like to get a hold of it and uh, give it a shot, but uh, these are some of the units. And I've got some other uh, things I want to talk about. While we've got these lights out, I'm going to talk about this one. This one here, and you know, I could, uh, I'll turn these on and you'll see them, but they're really, uh, it's hard to tell how bright they are uh, here in the, uh, you know, in a shop that's lit up. So, but, uh, okay. All right, so this is a Firefly Pro. And I can look at it pretty much, and it doesn't blind me. It is bright, but it doesn't blind me. I think it may be doing SOS. I can't look at it and uh, and uh, see if it's doing uh, dot, dot, dash, or dash, dash, dot, dash, whatever it is. Uh, anyway, Firefly Pro, and it's flashing, and it looks like it's doing SOS or something. I'm not real sure, but uh, this is the first one I used. Uh, I don't know that it reaches out more than a mile or so, but uh, this is it. 
and you can make that determination on what you think about it. Any more questions about it, please hit me up and uh, I'll try to answer them. This, once again, this is just gonna be a quick video on this and uh, just to cover some, some strobes that if you, know, you, you need one real quick and uh, uh, you don't want anything that you have to carry a battery around and connect, then this is the one to go with or one of the ones that you could go with. All right. So I don't have the name to this one. I don't know. This is a, 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 a magnet that connects to the bottom of it. And it's called the Light Man. L-I-G-H-T-M-A-N. Made in China. And I'm not sure what use I was going to use it for. I haven't. I just received it about a week ago. So I haven't had a chance. But uh, let me fire this one up for you. It's got two AA batteries in it. And this one here, the uh, the other one uh, has two AA batteries in it also. So two AA batteries. Let's click this one on. I don't know if you can tell anything exciting. It's fairly bright. I don't want to look at it, but it's... Uh, I would probably use it if I find a spot for it. I'd give it a shot, but I've got some other ones that are better than this, but for like $28 or somewhere around there, it's, it's not, uh, it's not bad. Once again, you have to re you have to put batteries in it. You can't recharge it. I don't know if you can hear or not. It has a little click as it recharges and capacitor pops on it and light uh, strobes. Okay. All right, so here's the Hunter strobe. One, two, three, four, five, six lights on it. You recharge it. It lasts a long time. I don't know how long these will last. I've never run them long enough to know. I know this Hunter strobe will last many flights. I, you know, I hardly charge it. Uh, it's not used that much because you're only using it for half an hour or so or maybe 45 minutes, but it, it lasts at least three hours. So this is the Hunter strobe. And it's hard for me to take a, you know, to look at it. And it's got a light underneath it to the sides. On top. And as you see, this Hunter strobe, it, uh, it has a quick two flash on it. And the first one just had one flash. I like this one. Uh, a better I think it uh, gets your attention a little bit more and it is bright and it is a the way it mounts it'll mount to bars uh, it's a good one I, I would choose this one this is a, a good one I use it uh, even if I didn't use it, uh, it it's a pretty good uh, handy one you know I normally don't turn my strobes on when I take off I'll get up in the air and uh, when it starts getting dark I'll just reach over and turn them on so Chip Hunter, Hunter Strobe. Somebody said they ought to call me Mr. Strobe because I do a lot of videos on strobes and uh, probably right. All right, this is the Guardian Angel and uh, probably can, it reach, you know, you recharge it and it'll last for hours and hours and it does more than just uh, strobes. It'll do front light, back light, uh, it has a red light. Uh, you know, I've done enough videos on this one, or most of you know are familiar with it, but uh, it's a 360 strobe. It has side. It has a top, it has a top strobe as well. Uh, it's a pretty fancy. You can uh, adjust the, the lights on it. You can make it, you know, dim. And you can go a little bit brighter or you can go the brighter and as well as if you want you can turn the front light on only and use it for a flashlight it has a rear have all of them all the way around uh, once again it's hard for me to look at it and see these these switches but you can turn it down 
or bright. It has a red light as well. So if you're trying to not be seen and you're reading something, you can use that. But as far as flying goes, uh, some of the lights, the little flashlight works, you know, you can use it to you know, check things over when you get on the ground. Uh, once again, the guardian angel and and it has a magnetic mount. What I do is I mount it to to this and I'll wrap this around a bar, the strap around the bar. It's got a lot of mounts, so you can use it for different things. The next strobe, which is just a super little strobe uh, for the size. I mean, it's just a tiny little thing. Uh, you know, my thumbnail, I mean, it's not much bigger. Uh, firehouse strobe, I uh, can't remember what they cost, probably 30 something dollars. The newer ones are really nice. I put this on top of my helmet, and it used to be one of my first strobes uh, besides this green one over here. And I would, uh, you know, if I was up in the air and I needed to turn something on and I didn't have one of my main ones running, uh, I would turn it on and off. Let's see if I can get this one going. Here we go. Once again, it's it's hard to uh, see it in a lighted, in a lit room, as well as uh, I can tell you it's hard to look at. It is bright. The tricky thing about this one is getting it turned off, but try not to look at it and, and try to hit this button. So these are the self-contained units. And uh, I'll put them out front here a little bit. And if you have any questions about them, I uh, want to talk about a battery. I use this uh, battery occasionally in my little pack I have behind me. It's a 12 volt battery. Uh, it's about 1.3 amp hours. And I'll use it to run some of my major strobes that I have. Uh, my Abrams strobe, and I have a Chinese strobe that I'll run. And I used to run a strip around my hoop, uh, which I do not have uh, running anymore at this time. And uh, I use it, or I had a double one, which is double the size, and I would use it. But since I've had these portable ones that are really bright, I hardly uh, worry too much about taking these along. This one's pretty heavy. Uh, this one here is not bad. This battery here, it has some, uh, it's rechargeable, but it's uh, rechargeable, you know, by taking the batteries out and recharging the batteries. And uh, this has a hookup for like a, your iPhone. If you want to charge your iPhone, you have a place to put it. And these are these uh, uh, batteries. I'm trying to think 18 See if I can see this. 18650s, I think they are. 18650s, yes. And I'll recharge them and sometimes I'll use them, but not very often have I use this. Uh, I had great plans for it when I first got it. Uh, it's got a, a plug-in for it uh, that you, you can use as well as uh, the uh, five volt plug-in for a uh, iPhone. And it's handy. Some of you may like it. You can strap it on. It's got a place for strap to strap it on. And uh, not, not too bad. So I'm gonna move on to a couple one uh, things that I have that are interesting that uh, people have asked about. and. This little uh, unit here you can buy off of like um, uh, Banggood or uh, AliExpress and some of those other ones. And what it is, it's just a little controller that controls, uh, it'll make, it'll let your lights flash. So if you have some lights, it'll make them flash um, and it'll go fast or slow. And then it has different, uh, uh, speeds that it'll flash. 
uh, I don't know if I can, this is a light strip. And this is just a small example of a light switch or strip. And let's see if I can get it working. If I don't blow up the place. So this is a light strip, that's what it looks like. And you can basically hook it up to this unit and it will flash and uh, go at different speeds. And uh, I won't take the time to hook it up right now, but trust me, it does work. And so you could use something like this and put it around your hoop, get it to flash. They make some really nice ones now, some 24 volt ones. that are very bright, make great strobes. Okay, I wanted to show you that. This one here, this is one, this strobe, it's a Xeon strobe. And I've wanted to figure out a way to use this. Uh, I've had it for a while and it's kind of been my favorite because it's so little. And uh, basically it's got a little controller right here in the middle. And kind of like this controller, but it's own little flasher. Uh, but this, this uh, little unit, let me uh, crank it up. It's pretty bright, and uh, I've always thought that this would be a great little unit to crank up and Now, I don't know if you can tell uh, how bright it is by, uh, you know, once again being down here, but it's a bright unit, and you can put one to the front, one to the back. But as far as this, as small as it is, and uh, it just would be really handy. And I was thinking at one time, uh, somehow hooking it up to a smaller battery pack. You know, maybe, you know, this battery pack that I had here, uh, hooking it up somehow and uh, putting it somewhere, something smaller, like maybe a nine volt battery and just uh, using it. I don't know how long it would last. I don't know how much juice it would uh, take, but uh, it's pretty bright. It's hard to look at, but uh, once again, you know, it's one that I have and some of the strobes and things that I've gone through, so. Another strobe set that I used to have when I first started, well, this is kind of a, a wiry mess here, but I would hook these uh, clamps up to my one inch pipe or five eight, eight inch, inch pipe around my trike and I had them in four different locations and uh, I'd put them going down some to, and to the side and uh, basically a lot of wires here let's see if I've got the right connection and I can turn them on. Let's see if these will turn on. All right, so two of them are not working because I don't have the other uh, wire connected, but you can imagine all four of them, or try to imagine all four of them, basically flashing on your trike or, you know, on your hoop. And you would put them on and crank them up and it would require a small battery. But I used to have these on my trike and I had, uh, you can look at some of the older videos and it looked like I was like a Christmas tree flying around. I had the hoops, had the, uh, these flashing had some other ones flashing. I mean, there's quite a bit. I was just, you know, all I needed was a short one day and I would probably just be a big spark in the sky. So anyway, once again, these are off of like Banggood or uh, AliExpress and you'll find them out there. Fairly inexpensive. They take a while to get to you. 
uh, you know, a couple months because they're coming from over in, in China or somewhere else. And so, but uh, pretty bright, hard to look at. I don't know what the camera does for them, but uh, um, not bad. So this is just some ideas, you know, I'm babbling on here, but uh, hopefully uh, between all of them, you get an idea, you know, if something works for you, fine. If it doesn't, you know, just turn the video off, give me a thumbs down and say, you know, what the heck. But uh, I just wanted to show you some strobes that are out, out there. A lot of new people uh, buy strobes. I don't buy any of the real expensive strobes. Uh, of course, with all the money I put in most of these, I could have bought a real nice one. And, uh, David has a real nice one, but it takes a lot of power and it'll run his batteries, big batteries down quick. Um, David's my wingman that I fly with. Uh, and there's some other Sky Flare. That's a really nice one, uh, kind of expensive. My buddy had one and he liked it. It kept changing. Uh, something was wrong. Uh, it kept changing its pattern. It would, it would always end up on SOS for some reason and uh, not sure why. But I mean, it was nice. Uh, don't put these up on your hoops, on the very top of your hoop. A buddy had his up, his sky flare up on the top of the hoop. Uh, any of these that go on top of your hoop, you're gonna catch your line. Uh, his uh, caught his sky flare, and the line, uh, it, you know, everything just kind of came together for the. You know, it wasn't good. Uh, it caught his sky flare. The the uh, then the it pulled his wing over. And then the line went into his prop. And then once it got into the prop, it just tightened down and just pulled the sky flare and the whole hoop right down and just bent the heck out of his hoops and uh, messed up his, you know, his lines to his wing. And uh, he didn't mess up his uh, prop because it basically got caught uh, between the prop and the, the uh, engine. So, but uh, yeah, be careful about putting your you know, flare or your strobe up on top so that, uh, you know, it doesn't get caught up there. If your wing goes to the side and your line goes over there and then grabs and then it comes down and uh, you get a fail launch and then it catches in that uh, prop spinning. Really bad news. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions, please hit me up. And, uh, here we go in Ohio. We're going into the uh, cold winter. It's going to get really cold and a lot of snow. I've got lots of videos still out there on the queue, usually 9.45 a.m. every Friday. There'll be at least one that will release uh, for the next month or so. And uh, hopefully I'll get this one out. And uh, hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Lots of turkey. And... Uh, Everybody stay safe and uh, we'll catch you later.